Hi guys, it's Kay again. This is Queen Kia and I'm with Leon no. my friend. <laughs> so part two, right? The lesbian stereotypes, myths and mediocres. <laughs> so let's go. Um I have a list. I've prepared a list of some of the things that I personally have gone through. And I'm sure most of them you guys can relate. Let's get into it. You are too pretty or beautiful to be a lesbian. Why? 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 <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Look. And imagine. And you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder anyway. Oh. I think that it is childish and it's not how it works. You like what you like, you like who you like, and that should just be it, regardless of how you look um, and regardless of how men, especially, because that, those are the ones that keep asking this question of you to be to be a lesbian. Come on, guys, let's do better. Let's do better. The second one, why do studs have really made? Look okay, here, nah. <laughs> so, so who are you supposed to be? When your mother gave you this name? Exactly. <laughs> because first of all, before we are stars, before we are boys, before we are lesbian, we are female and that's how we were born, right? Obviously your parents will give you a name that they see fit. So it's just the coincidence. I just thought of something, but parents don't share the one they, they name you pretty for the day of time. Nah. And then, yeah, there's something right there with nothing to do with, with the, but pretty or, or intelligence or. Yeah, but then there's, but then there's, there's those girly names, bro, like, our Patricia and. If you want to be Patricia in 2020. And you know, See, now I'm ignorant and know how. Those like Monica, those, those yeah. other. And then the person comes and you see them and they're like, yay! So, what are you supposed to be like? You see, you see, that's the thing. That it's is the got thing. That nothing to do with your sexual orientation. That is the thing. Because, Vela Vela, when your parents were there holding you, you are a girl and that's the name they felt like they wanted to give you. It really is not like starts deciding to go in jail. It's really like the start thing or so. No man, the, the starts uh, in America, starts, dykes, which is different levels, right? I feel like I'll do an episode about that as well. They on different levels, they're not the same thing. But whereas in South Africa, studs, butch, and dyke more or less means the same thing. And dyke doesn't offend you. Me personally, it, it really doesn't. For me, you know, it's whatever. Yeah. Like, it doesn't get to me. But for some people, yeah, yeah it's, it's an saying, offensive word. It's like saying faggot and, and yeah. Like, you can call me mocky all day, I won't respond. Yeah. But I, I get that it's offensive to others. You, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I'm just at a level with like, it is what it is. Whatever you feel like, it's not, you, you don't put bread on my table anyway, so you know. And I won't give you that power over me. And in America, that refers to lesbians uh, of color, whereas in South Africa, it's just. It's just, if you lesbian and you're more masculine in, time, in terms of what you wear, in terms of how you carry yourself, then you either start and approach. But then there's also a stem. Yeah. Teachers, mm. mama. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Most of my friends would say that I'm a STEM mm -hmm. because you know you are more or less on the bridge. You're not like really a stud. You're not more. You're not fem. So STEM means start ST and then uh, fem EM STEM. You the stud that um the drinks brutal fruit. Yes, I'm the one. <laughs> the print drinks. I'm that one. I'm that one. Yeah, yes. I get it. Now. I'm that one. But I'll still be like, yo, baby girl, what's up? To yeah. a fem. You know what I'm saying? And you're only attracted to feminism. Yes, to fems. Which brings me to my next one, which is why are start to start relationships 
found up, are frowned upon mm-hmm. where is fame to fame relationships are kind of seen like yo but that is hard hard yeah that is so hard for me personally you know do what you want to do yeah at the end of the day when we both take our clothes off as women we women and personalities if i'm attracted to your personality and who you are mm-hmm. it really doesn't matter um how you look on the outside but for me mm-hmm. i feel like fans are for me mm-hmm. but you know there are those mm-hmm. that are like the status i've never seen one i'd like to see i guess been in a, a status that like relationship no i've i've mm-hmm. never been in a status study relationship but then there are those that when you sit at the back and you're like yo but time <laughs> yeah this get is fine <laughs> but then you just like i like it's still not yeah. for me you know what i'm saying um personally i think it's a probably like a dominance thing and a submissive you know thing whereas a fame would come across submissive whereas a stud would be a dominant one whereas but in my relationship like it's baby, yeah yeah it, it, it really does differ in my relationships baby girl takes the reins the queen takes the reins i do what she says you know what i'm saying yeah. um yeah so in society we've gotten it's it's it takes me to the next one where it says in order to be lesbian you must be butch you must be like a man that's when you qualify yeah. to be a lesbian if you a fem you don't really you know it's not really like yeah, 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 yeah just play around girl. you see it's that type of deal whereas when you like a butch thing you just like you know, you're legit a lesbian you're really like out here to open <laughs> 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 You said there's a black label in my guitar. You're out here shaving your cut with seven oh dudes. You're out here blazing a blunt. Not that there's anything wrong. wrong. It's, it's your thing, right? Yeah. But that's not the only thing that makes you a lesbian. Yeah. Sure. You hear what I'm saying? So it's... <laughs> and it gives it gives off that, that perspective to normal South Africans that Kunje, that's the only way to be a lesbian you get what i'm saying and that is not how it is and then there's another one that says uh who wears the pants in the relationship what if we both wear the pants you know what i'm saying speaking for the lesbians (laughs) (laughs) but yeah i hear what you're saying yeah it's like who wears the pants honestly if i feel like if for example if i'm working at nine to five and maybe my girlfriend works maybe shorter hours mm. obviously if she's home first she got to cook yeah. i mean i can't come to work late at night and still have to cook you get what i'm saying so it's it's all about a partnership it's a partnership man you know it's not like okay like we backwards well well even in heterosexual relationships yeah. i feel like it shouldn't be that way you know because it's unfair especially to women whereas now guy has been sitting all day in the house and then you still have to come and cook clean bring the kids oh. do the homework you the one who was working you were the one at the breadwinner in this situation but now you have to sort of like be submissive okay but then it may come out as if, as if like I'm a feminist yeah, very aggressive but Whenever women are making their point, men could be making the same point. Mm. Now all of a sudden, you need to explain your point because exactly. let them eat it. You know, like I very very. So guys, it really is not that deep. It's about a 50-50 partnership. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. And this thing of you know, I uh, know you. That's the other one. You lesbians, it's just a phase. Why would I wake up? today and decide you know what i'm going to be the most violated victimized demonized person in south africa why would i decide to wake up and be that person why but i get it but then there are those ones that are like oh no um i just kissed a girl i like kissing girls you know i'm not a lesbian yeah. or there are those ones that you know um we call them fly by nights where they like date a lesbian and then 
and beg to do so. Which is different from which people is who, are who are bad. Bisexual. Which is totally different. Yeah. And then you get those mm-hmm. ones in varsity where like, no, they go, they literally, they mm-hmm. went through a stage where oh, they were just yeah, dating girls. People. But then mm-hmm. after varsity, they went back to being straight. You get what I'm saying? So there are those those gray areas i do get it and this is why this podcast is very important is to educate people on topics like this the other one that we have is that uh lesbians are taking all our women <laughs> take care of your women yourself okay. first of all in south africa the ratio of men to women is about one man equals to 10 women in South Africa. Did you know did that? Did you fact check that? Did you, did you know that? Did no, no, sti- no, it's, it's, a st- it's a statistics problem. So obviously when you do a statistics, it won't be 100% accurate. No, I want to agree but, as long as I know you sourced this, then I will Yeah, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, that's what I'm saying is about approximately yeah. 1 to 10. Do you get what I'm saying? So if men can't handle 2 women, 2 or 3 women, how are you going to handle 10? So we're just doing you a favor, guys. <laughs> Basically, we're doing you a favor by you know taking some of your of your list but more importantly is the fact that why do men feel entitled to women mm. there's no yeah. stem as if we women are livestock That's what I was there's saying. no stem for as if women are livestock to you so why would you say you're taking all your women were they yours to begin with did you own them do you own them Conjure, you cannot own a person right so it really needs to stop women taking Lesbians are taking all our women, and you guys are taking all the pretty ones and leaving us with the frogs. Hey, man! <laughs> Y'all are not for real. Bro, like, I'm serious. I can't. Yo! But also, we, it's not to say that we hate men now. Yeah, also. No, 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 it's not it's not that deep. I, yeah, brothers. <laughs> We still love it. Like, we still love it. Just, yeah, come correct. And it's it's literally what I'm saying. It's the stereotypes and the myths yeah. that you know, that I've gone through and I've experienced.